Welcome back guys to another YouTube video and today we are in horror game part 6. I know you guys really wanted this part because you've been telling me so much in the comments. Aye. Today we're going to be making a killer NPC so we're going to be making a maze so when you go into the maze an NPC should follow you and when it touches you it kills you. Fairly short tutorial because the script is very long and I'm not going to bore you by making you write the whole thing. So the link for the script in the video is going to be down in the description down below. So guys without further ado turn on that notification bell, like the video and subscribe. Press that big red button down below somewhere there. Anyway guys thank you so much and enjoy this video. Alright guys, so we're in Roblox Studio, we can just go ahead and continue with the map. So as you can see before, we made this note over here, and when you click on it, a frame will appear. Well today we want to make the killer NPC, so to do that, we can go to plugins, build rig plugin, and if you do not have this plugin, the link will be in the description. Once you've clicked on that, go R15 and press block rig. And it should appear with something a bit like this, this is your rig like this. And now we want to design it to make it a little bit scarier. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the color. That's it. Now once you've colored this guy, you can now go to dummy, open up the dummy, add in a script. And in the script, we want to paste in the, the script in the description. So go down in the description down below and paste in the script. Oh, by the way, make sure to change this to attack NPC script. Just like that. There you go. All right, perfect. So once you've pasted in your script, it should look something a bit like this. This is the script all done. And pretty much what it's doing, it's getting the humanoid root part from the character and pretty much this NPC is gonna follow your humanoid root part. Oh, and one more thing. In the model, make sure to unanchor every single body part. Because if, if they're anchored, then this is not gonna work. So just highlight left foot and go down to humanoid root part and make sure to unanchor it. By the way, check humanoid root part because that is sometimes anchored. So just you can go through every single one of them, check if any of them are anchored. Perfect, it's not anchored. So now we've done that. So now we've done it right. So what we can do is just drag this away, add in. So you just go to your toolbox and search our maze and then scroll down and find this one. I like this one right here. So just click on that. And then you can drag it over here. And you can take this guy. And where are we gonna spawn? Let's say. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna spawn here. So, all right, so once you've done that, go back to your map and where the spawn point is, which is over here. Uh, there we go. We can take this and we can drag it all the way to the beginning point, which is here. Just like that. Oh, and one more thing. I did promise one of the um, commenters that I would hide the first key. So that's what we're going to do right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the key. We're going to rotate it. Just like this. And now we can just go ahead and hide it in this bush. Just like that. So perfect, now we're walking past and you shouldn't be able to find the key, but once you do a little bit of looking, you can find it down there, pick it up, and open the door. Perfect. All right, so guys, now we can go ahead, press play, and let's see if this works. And as you can see, the NPC is now chasing me, and let's see what happens when I touch it. And there you go, after a while, as you can see, it's killed me. And my character is now dead. And I'm actually really happy that works. In the next episode, we're going to be adding an animation to this guy to make it look a bit, look and feel a bit more better. But one more thing is, if you want the... Because as you can see, it did 20 damage every time it touched me. So to make it do more damage in less times, just go to here where it says touch.parent.humanoid colon take damage 100 or for you that should say 20, change it to 100 and now we can play it again and see how long it takes to kill me. All right, so the NPC is now chasing me and let's see what happens when I touch him. Boom, as you can see, it kills me straight away in one go. 
So as I said, we're going to be adding an animation next episode. I really hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And also join my Discord server, please, because we have a really nice community and we've got some really nice channels. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.